Welcome back to the show. So pleased to introduce you to our next guest because the West End Studio Tour, the big weekend is coming up this weekend. We're going to give you all the details with a member artist, Pamela Stewart. Pamela, welcome. Hi. Great to have you yeah. in studio this time. It's so great to be here. Wonderful, wonderful. to have you. Yeah. Um, this is, this. you and I were just talking, <laughs> this is a really important event for, for not only artists, but it really is an important event for people that attend because it's very unique, right? The experience yeah. that they get to have. Yeah, studio tours are very much like a look into um, the lens of the artists, right? And and although it's COVID and so we're kind of setting up outside, you have an opportunity to really chat with them and find out about their process and what their inspiration is and hear about their background and their history and yeah, build a relationship and a rapport with them. Right. So yeah. Well, we're seeing some examples here. So obviously there's very various mediums that we're going to find. So before yeah. we talk specifically about each piece, yeah. um, tell me about the variety of mediums we're going to see. Well, it's so this is the 27th annual. We've got artists um, that have been part of the tour almost since the beginning. You've got oils, you've got mixed media. Um, we've got a little mosaic yeah, artist. Here, She's brand here. new this to the cute. tour. Yeah, so we have uh, three, 18 artists this time around, um, 18 locations, three new artists. Um, uh, Pippa Beck is the mosaic artist. And we've okay. got An Nguyen, who's uh, acrylics, and we have as well mixed media by Judy Anderson, and then 18 other artists, and I've got four of them represented here. Very nice. Well, yeah. let's talk about your particular piece here, because <laughs> you, you work, as I understand it, in different mediums, right? Yeah, so my work is very modern, Okay. Um, and I'm a bit of a chemist, or like, I really like oh, modern. Oh, I like that. It, yeah, I like that fun. description. I use a lot of modern materials. Every time something comes up that I haven't heard of before, I play with it and experiment. So yeah, so this piece here is um, covered in an art resin epoxy. So okay. high end, uh, super gloss, um, and it's like chemistry. You mix it together, it hardens. You have to take a torch to it. I get to play with fire. Wow. But it's um, underneath up my alley. it. I know. So underneath it is actually alcohol ink um, and mixed media on a synthetic paper. So it's like this thick industrial plastic paper that I then secure to the wood panel and finish in with the art resin. So what's the inspiration when, when you're putting something like this together? Yeah, well, um, I am an emotive artist, so I usually don't have an idea before I start a piece. Really? Eh? So, okay. like, for instance, um, I have a whole collection of works at a, a solo show coming that's on right now, and it's all inspired by my open water swimming and out in nature and immersion and the senses okay. so yeah so it just depends on my mood what I what I gravitate towards and what I play with and and what comes out well tell, tell me more yeah. about this solo show I know you're excited about that well, any yeah. artist is excited to have a solo show yeah, right so it's at the beautiful uh, gallery old Chelsea um, in old Chelsea Quebec just above Les Fougères that beautiful delicious restaurant nice. and it just goes until next weekend so I've got some artist sittings coming up but I've got a collection of 26 new works there including some large format ones and um, I'm really proud of that collection it really nice. is very zen and very has a great feel to it a great emotion mood let's get back to the West End studio yeah. tour so uh, on the tour itself we know mm -hmm. you know the the mediums and so forth but this is wonderful because what do you you've got a map that's available online and then I guess you can you know bike walk uh, what, what, what yeah. sort of areas so do we um, go through? Hintonburg Wellington West Westboro a little bit beyond um, to the outlying areas West End studio tour .ca is where you can download a PDF map or there's an interactive Google map um, and the artists are ready and set up from 11 to 5 both days um, Okay. Um, and that's rain or shine. Last week we had to close at four when it was torrential because yeah. you know <laughs> we do have limits. But of um, course. but yeah, and uh, you know, Taste of Wellington West is going oh, on, that's and right. there's the so 24th. many. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going on in the community. So it would be a really great weekend to get out. I was going to say, and not mm -hmm. only you know the the tour itself, you know, you've got a long period of time, but as you just described, the Taste of Wellington going on. You can go yeah. visit some other shops throughout, stop for a bite to eat somewhere, and all those different areas. Yeah. It's a wonderful community. That, that yeah. you're going through. Yeah. Let's start about your, your beginnings. I mean, mm -hmm. we've talked about what you're doing now, but yeah. what, what's your sort of journey as an artist been to this uh, point? Gosh, well, my current my current muse is the fact that I'm an open water distance swimmer. I'm even going to be heading to Meech Lake for a swim this afternoon. Really? Yeah, in this okay. crazy weather. But like, I'm, how long? Like, when you say distance, what are you talking about? I get about? up to 10, 11 kilometers. Really? But tonight it'll probably be between three and four. Okay. But anyway, um, I was um, an independent filmmaker in my 20s and a magazine editor in my 30s, and just always felt like I was a painter but I never painted for whatever okay. reason and so after the birth of my twins I just decided to uh, take took some mixed media classes with a fabulous artist in Stittsville named Kate Reichman and after that just 
that's it. That's what I'm doing now. So do you yeah. have a, a home studio now then? I do. It's uh, it's a bedroom that I've taken away okay. from my twins <laughs> for nice. now. Yeah. And I exhibit. Like I, I exhibit. I'll be exhibiting at Wall Candy Expo coming up. A lot of the artists on the tour are actually part of that. Um, so that's coming up. And Nguyen is actually going to be doing live painting at the Vermissage, oh, excellent. Uh, the masquerade themed cocktail party on the Friday night. So that's pretty awesome as well. Well, you mentioned yeah. Wall Candy, by the way, Andrea, who's who's putting together the Wall Candy Expo. She's going to be on the show coming up in October, so people awesome. can stay tuned for that. Yeah. You know, you mentioned your studio. It's funny, my, my mm -hmm. wife and my daughter are artists, and yeah. I think one of the more frustrating things for them is not having the space, right? Yeah. Like, just tell me, you know, why that's so, you know, because for yeah. them, you know, they start something and then they've got to, you know, pack everything up and putting it away. I'm not saying your, your studio is going to be a complete mess, mm -hmm. but that must be important for an artist to have that, you know, convenience of leaving things out and not having to pack everything away all the time. Yeah, so almost every artist that I know does their work in multiple stages, so they have to let layers dry and work on it. I've got a huge, very, very um, level table that my husband built for the resin process and, okay. and most of my painting I actually do on on a, on oh, a flat it's surface. Flat. Okay. Yeah, because the alcohol inks evaporate off the page and it's liquid uh, medium, right. right? So it's really fun. Um, but yeah, I, I've got stuff everywhere. And if it's, <laughs> and if I, yeah, if I don't have sh well. um, a show or things where all my inventory is up on the walls and stuff, like I'm in Concave Gallery in Perth and Foyer Gallery here in town, and you know, I've got lots of shows and stuff, um, the in between is just a mess in my house. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. But I, I think that helps, yeah. right? It, it mm -hmm. certainly helps in the process. Some, from start to finish, very quickly, how, how long did this take you? Oh, uh, it depends how much time I have to get in the studio, too, with okay. everything I have going on. Right. Um, but I don't know. I can't quantify how long that took. It was, uh, you know, you paint on the page. You have the process of gluing the paper to the board. Um, you wait for that to cure. And then the resin itself. We're talking itself. Tens, tens of hours here. Right? Yeah, All just right. depends. Pamela, thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> really appreciate it. I'll, I'll yeah. give a reminder, by the way, at the end of the show about all these details. We'll be back after this.